We're in Ames, Iowa for the annual battle for the Cyhawk Trophy between the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Iowa State Cyclones. Brought to you in brilliant high definition by Phillips HD. For a state that doesn't have any major pro sports, this is the biggest game of the college football calendar every year. From Jack Dry Stadium in Ames, Iowa, Big 12 College Football Saturday. Presented by Phillips HD, it's the matchup, the showdown between the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Iowa State Cyclones. Hi, everybody. Joel Myers alongside Dave Lappin. Welcome to Ames. Don't want to be in these third and long situations against either of these defensive football teams. Five receivers spread in the field. Are not plenty of time. Oh. And on the deflection, intercepted. Tyler Sash has it. The safety off the pick. And inside the 35, he goes. It was put into double coverage. Tarpinian is the linebacker that tipped the ball. Tarpinian got a nice drop at the linebacker position. Knee action, very nice high knee action, actually. Back to O'Meara, and it's going to be an onside kick covered by the Hawkeyes. They were ready for it. They're offside, yep. though. It's coming back. That's a huge mistake. Well, no. it, oh. it was offside Iowa State. Yeah, I said Iowa State's offside. Well, so Iowa. they recover the football. Robinson in the eye behind Morris. On the play fake. Moving the pocket again. And a perfect crowd run. Strauss has it. He's got a first down. Oh, that's late. And that's late. Out of bounds. Inside the 25 to the 24. Flags flying, as you can see. Bang. Remember, this was all set up by a gamble by Paul Rhodes and his staff. They went for the onside kick. Covered by Bruce Davis. Then, after the Strauss catch, the personal foul. And it took it down to the 12. And even if Iowa State had recovered it, they had a penalty on that onside kick that you can't handle. Little dump off, touchdown, Iowa. It goes to the fullback, Brett Morris. Carries from 57 yards after the last. They only need about three for first down. And a poor throw and an interception. Sash has another. The strong safety on the deflection. Still on his feet all the way down to the 25 near the 24. But they needed three and a low percentage throw deflected by Greenwood. Stands out of the gun. Here comes the blitz. And he's going on the fade in the corner. Touchdown. He got a push. No flag. Touchdown. Johnson Corianos. EJK got it done. He had the position on Banks, and he's hurting. EJK is in the corner of the end zone with some sort of an effort, uh, some sort of an injury, and what an effort if he, in fact, was hurt. They got their legs tangled up because limping as well as Banks. I mean, they must have got their legs tangled up somehow when they went to the field to play. Final two minutes of the first half. Wild beginning with back-to-back -back interceptions, and both teams have one guy with two picks apiece. Tyler Sash from David Sims going for the bundle, up the grabs again, third interception. It's Brett Greenwood. What a poor throw that time. Yeah, they're, they're both quarterbacks, the ball's sailing. I don't know if it's perspiration from the humidity or what, but, I mean, the ball's just not coming out of their hand very darn well at all. They only need two, a little more than two. So on third down, keep it to the ground, run the option, wide side of the field, Robinson's got it, oh, and loses it, another one, give it away. It's covered. Jeremiah Hunter, I believe, or will it be Ed's Jeremiah Hunter coming up with the football? I think Sash might have been involved in forcing the fumble. Sash There's seems to be everywhere. Down. It's against Iowa During State. The play, That's the illegal chop block, 73 offense. Penalty is declined. First time. Well, if you're a center, a less than a yard on third down. Robinson. Big gap over to the right side. He's got blockers. And into the secondary, Adam Robinson. So now it's going to be third and long. Stancy on the quick out. He's got the first down at about the 10. Look to the tight end. The motion man and Reisner's got it. Touchdown, Iowa. At Iowa State, you have two members of the secondary falling all over each other, literally. Squad. They were 12th in total defense. That's in the nation. Up the grabs and intercepted once again. Greenwood. Greenwood's got his second. It's across the 40. So first down. Clock moving inside of five and a half to play in the third. 
18 point lead for the Hawkeyes. Ton of pocket protection and floats it perfectly this time to Strauss. He's got a first and goal inside the 10. Over their knees, and this offensive line's playing well right now without their best player. It'll be Waggy. This time, no doubt about it. Woo, up and over. Touchdown, Iowa. Up, up and away, and there was no linebacker to meet him, and he was just uh, hurled himself, hurled himself into the end zone. You like his vertical? I like his vertical and horizontal. I mean, <laughs> they show that they deserve extra snaps. Robinson to the 100-yard mark with that carry. Oh. And Sass has his third. Tyler Sass with his third interception of the day. Second and short. Good adjustment. What a stop by Weger in the backfield. They got to keep it, buddy. Yep. He's almost to the midfield stride because there was nice penetration on the handoff. True freshman. Good news for Hawkeye fans. On second and long, big Ooh. hole for Weger. Into the secondary. Strong side, right side. They go up the middle again, and it works because Weger just on the hip of his lead blocker. Weger in the gun with Stanzi. Davis, true freshman wide receiver, was the motion man. He's wide open. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa. In the season spurred them on the Outback Bowl. They win that. They play Penn State early over in College uh, Park. And it's going to be a tough, tough test for Iowa. They had a tough, long day for Austin Arnott, as we just saw. But the other extreme, the last three quarters for Kirk Ferentz and the Hawkeyes of Iowa as they take the 57th showdown for the Cyhawk Trophy. And they were really impressive. Yeah, they were. I mean, they did everything that you need to do. They forced turnovers. They controlled uh, the line of scrimmage. Iowa State was hoping to control tempo with that spread attack. Iowa just brought, put them in the meat grinder and ground them up. Let's head downstairs with the winning coach, Kirk Ferentz, Jim Knox. All right, thank you, Joel. Coach, congratulations. I tell you what, you guys uh, were back and forth a little bit in the first half. You took advantage of those turnovers, but in the second half, you guys really poured it on. Our, our defense did a good job getting turnovers, and we were sloppy at the ball the first half, which made it interesting. But uh, great job by our defense. We did a little better job of capitalizing in that second half as well. Speaking of defense, your, your strong safety, Tyler Sash, he came up with three turnovers himself. Yeah, I thought both our safeties really played well, Tyler. Uh, as an act for finding the football. I hope that continues all season. What does this mean to you? I know it meant so much for the state of Iowa, but to come out here, this is the first win you guys have had here in Ames, Iowa since 2003. Yeah, it's been a couple of years. We've had a couple of tough, tough trips up here and uh, certainly like this outcome a lot better. It's, it's always a tough series. This is only their second game uh, with a new staff, so uh, good things are ahead for Iowa State, no doubt in my mind. Right, Coach, congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you. Joel? All right, class act. Complimenting his opponent once again is Kirk Ferentz as this is a big win for Iowa. Slow starters over the last few years, fast finishers, but off to a 2-0 start and recovering from oh, a very slow beginning at home over Northern Iowa last week. We'll wrap it up when we come back. Cyhawk Trophy still in Iowa City.